You've got Donald Trump colored hair. Nice. It's strawberry blonde. Yeah. It's what reads on the, it, it looks, yeah, that's strawberry. That's, it looks red. I'm just saying. You're it right. It red. does look red. And I'm saying there will be, like, I, I, I know that if the one fan who's a very big fan after your, of yours after being on this show. Yeah. He hasn't called in a while. <laughs> He's protesting. I think he, yeah, I think it was a silent protest. <laughs> He's like, where is she? <laughs> I think, honestly, if I got an email from him, just like bring her back. And that's yeah. all it said. Yeah. In the, yeah, just bring, I'd be like, I would know who's, I'd be like, yo, man, I don't control her, man. She's a free spirit, which is what no controlling man ever wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is she's a free spirit, which is not what anybody wants to hear. But yeah, if it, now that you're back on. Yeah. He'll definitely He's, call in. He sent me a couple of messages, but they were nice, you know? That it was nothing yeah. creepy or I don't weird. Think, yeah, see that's see and that's great. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. Yes. I want to hear that fans of this show are not creeps, <laughs> even though I've heard messages <laughs> where that totally argues otherwise. <laughs> Shout out Gay Ryan. You are the biggest creep in the world, but I love you. You're cool, dude. But uh yeah, he was just like Yo, man, I love that redhead, man. Love it. Love yeah. it. I'm like, yeah, dude, I get it. I get it. I mean, I've been, I I've done, I've been on Compound Media, and uh, I've been doing Kevin Brennan's show recently. Yes. Misery loves Compound. So you want to talk about creep fans? I, I mean, could, there you go. I could only imagine. I only have gotten a few creepy. I've only gotten a few creepy DMs in my entire time of doing stand up, and yeah. some of them have been like, the worst part is it's all from guys. Oh, that's, okay. That's the worst. I was like, I've, I've, it's all guys. That's the worst part is like, and I'm not saying like, I don't appreciate the messages is that I'm more is like, I want, I would have wanted some creepy lady. Like I'm going to eat your fucking dick off your body. That never happens. Yeah. We, because women can't really be creeps, you know? Because yes. You get, they, no, that's yeah. like saying black people can't be racist. <laughs> no, women can be creeps. They can. But if you get a message from a creep woman, you're like, I'm in. Yeah. You know? but uh, Not all the time. Okay. I've gotten before, like, I mean, non stand up related, I've gotten creepy messages from women where I'm like, man, that's just too much. Oh, yeah? Too much. Like, have you ever, you, I'm sure you've gotten unsolicited dick pics. Never. I've never, not once. Swear to God. Well, I'm going to, I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> About to happen. It's, yeah, that's freaking. Uh, yeah, that's broken right Every, now. Everyone's like, "That's a challenge." You were like me. the Flyers, eight games in a row, and tonight <laughs> it is broken. You are back on the board, and you are going to be flooded with wiener. Nah, I mean that's I've I've said that before on podcasts, and it didn't happen. I don't know. There's something about me that uh, they just they don't do it. You know. Now, do you find that disrespectful? A, li uh, a little offensive. Do you find that a little, you're not unsolicited dick pic worthy? I may be the only woman over here waiting for unsolicited dick pic. And you know what? It's like that right there. Now, would you feel better? Would you feel worse or better if you, if you got more? Or, <laughs> or like, if you got one, would you be like, ah? Oh! But if you got flooded with them, be like, all right, I'm doing something. I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm doing something, all right. Oh, man, I don't know how I would feel. I would just start rating them. I mean, that's what you got to do. I, I, I don't know. <sighs> I don't think it's offensive. Like, women think it's offensive. I don't think it's offensive. But I am I might be a creep. You know what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think that's what it comes down to. <laughs> This is, I have a You're, bone to pick with you. I have a bone to pick with you about that. What? About you? Last time I was on this show, not to be aggressive about it, oh. but last time I was on this show, uh, you, the, the next, for the next two episodes, you called me a creep to the guests because I picked invisibility as my superpower. Yes, that is creepy. It's not creepy because I said, I even said I wasn't, it wasn't about sex. It doesn't matter. It's you. Okay. Okay. Whoa. whoa. I'm going to say right now, if someone's like, yo, I want to be super strong. They don't think, I don't think they ever think about robbing a bank. They just like, they want to be like, yo, I, I just want to, I could maybe help people. But I guarantee one day they're going to get bored and they're like, I wonder if I can punch <laughs> through that wall at bank. i am probably punch through that wall at bank, get all that money. I can probably give it to the poor. I can give it to the poor. <laughs> but like, I know an invisible person's like, yeah, man, I've been invisible for a little bit. I've just been getting free flights and maybe some free food. But I wonder, you're going to, you're going to, what is that? that? I'm picking the not the most non creepy things an invisible person can do. What would you do with invisibility? You didn't, I told, I said I would, I would see what people were saying about me behind my back. That's, and <laughs> you don't think 
one of those times you're going to be like, I'm going to see what this dude is saying behind my back. And you're going to follow him into his bathroom and be like, I mean, I think that you would, uh, I think that you would come upon sex accidentally to the point where you're like, you know what? This is like, this is one of the cons of you're being invisible. invisible. It's, <laughs> one, it's one of the cons of being invisible. It's not a pro. You just get used to it. You don't sit around and go, oh, maybe I'll go watch so, people. Because I'm bored. I have this power. Let me go. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it it's is. It's probably going to happen day one. Yeah, no You don't way. even realize you're day like, Day one of invisibility, you're going to steal. Don't even don't even act like you won't. You're just going to, and you're not even anything big. You're going to go somewhere. You're be like, I want to see if this actually works. You're going to go into a convenience store. And you're going to steal like a payday <laughs> or something. And you're just going to be like, I got it. And nobody said anything. And then the next day, you're going to be like, all right, I can use this to see who's talking shit about me. This is the most <laughs> paranoid thing in the world. Listen. That's the most woman power you, ever. You, you are under... You're talking crap about me. You're underestimating my morality over here. I, I mean, am, That's why I need you as an invisibility so partner. Because I would oh, never... I would, accountability? No, an invisibility partner because I would never think of the possibility. So I have to be invisible as well. Like, yeah, you just saying you'd steal. I never even thought about stealing. You're... So full of shit. <laughs> I'm not. It's, it's not. Why would I? I wouldn't even think of that. I want to. I, I want info. Totally, one hundred percent disbelieve that. I want intel. That's my goal. Okay, so you just want to be a spy. I want to be a spy. That's okay. Yeah. I don't. But you're not. <laughs> I'm not gonna go like, hey, hey, I need a t television. So people would see the TV. What are you gonna? Here's you here's know. my other thing. What will you do with the information? Say say someone's talking smack behind your back. And you're invisible. Yeah. And you're standing right behind them listening. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then saying things that <laughs> only they would know. Right. And then later you're like, hey, I heard you say all this shit about me. Yeah. And then what? I mean, I do that in real life without sure. the invisible. And then what? And but, then. But the whole thing is, if you do it in real life. Yeah. You're you're finding out that information, third party, fourth party. You're finding out. Exactly. Stuff. Okay. So that means it's out there. So that means right. you could find it. If they're by themselves in their apartment, just like that boy, she's a fucking <laughs> Nobody... stupid con. I swear to you. Don't oh, think dude, people... I would go to meetings. I wouldn't go visit people alone. You go to meetings? I would go to meetings. <laughs> what meetings? Go to... <laughs> you think they're having organizations would... about you? Yes. This is the most paranoid. You think people you, have. Listen, people call me paranoid, but you don't understand. People talk shit all the time about people. And you people. think they have an organization they There's get no... together? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what? It's Thursday. Where? I feel <laughs> like most like sneakily shit talk is through text message. Sure. You, you got to get into yeah. people's phones. You got to. Yeah. You can't use invisibility for that unless what? you're like hovering over their back watching them. Yeah. So you're saying I can just read documents. I mean, that's I what you're doing now. Reading documents. And then yeah. you would be invisible. Yeah. You'd sneak up behind somebody after a show or something and be like, oh, my God. <laughs> I wonder what they're saying about me. It's not like, I'm not saying like, you know, official boardroom meetings or anything like that are going on. That is paranoid. I'm saying just groups of people on the street who know me are like, hey, that Felicia, huh? And then I and then I get to find out what they and think And what are you going to do? What are you I'm telling you, it's in a group text. Yeah. Not in it's a, not, like, there's no way it's out. They're not, yeah, they're not <laughs> sitting on a bench like, you know what? <laughs> They do. They do. I don't think that they do. do. Oh my god! I don't think I've ever you're paranoid because you're doing that. Me? Oh yeah, you're out in the That's... streets having. No, no, no. Uh, I don't. It sounds I talk, like it. I talk well about everybody except one person. But I, so you're saying I could be invisible and just look over their shoulder at their phone? You That's could. the move. Yeah, you could That's do that. Shit. Yeah, but even that seems That's like That's creepy. It's a That's creepy. <laughs> This is the F podcast with Ryan Shader. I'm joined by the one and only Felicia Gillespie. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you back. for being on the show. Thank you for being back. Thank you for admitting that yeah. you are a paranoid fuck. I I will argue this to the death, like to to the point where this is our new American flag. You know what I mean? Oh Just me and you God. sitting there. <laughs> Just <laughs> There's no more stars. <laughs> this is about to be bigger than the presidential debate. Oh my god! Whether or not I am a paranoid creep. So wait, like I, I, I don't think what I'm saying is. Yeah. Your whole power is just to learn information about yourself. Yeah. That's paranoia. Oh, uh, why? Knowledge <laughs> is power. 
Knowledge is power. But it's not knowledge. It's just trash talk. Information. It's just trash talk that doesn't even matter. It'd be different if someone was like, hey, did you know I know Felicia's fucking pin number to her bank account? Do you right. know that I know her like lock thing to get into right, her right. house? That's information that you should know. If someone's like, she's a dumb bitch, that's <laughs> not information. Okay. That's here's, just trash talk. Here's where, it's, here's where trash talk is powerful, though, is if somebody in that party has the power to convince somebody else oh. to do something to me. What would they do? What would they do? I mean, the possibilities are endless. Do? Like, like. But see, okay. See, the possibilities are endless. Yes. But you're invisible. Right. Are you saying you wouldn't use that to get revenge? Absolutely. Of course. But that's not that's creepy. crime. That's not creepy, though. But it's cool. What would. The... <laughs> it's awesome. You know? It's what would renegade. Be, what, would, what would be the crime? What would be the revenge? What's invisible revenge? Oh, I mean, I would need a, I would need a scenario. It's case by okay, case. Okay, so I, I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at an organization. We're talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm, it's Thursday night, nine o'clock. We're meeting up. We're at the park bench, just out. Sipping coffee. He's like, you know that Felicia. She's yeah, and a I'm, fucking... not, I'm not the topic, but I, but the topic veers toward me. So, <laughs> right? That's how it works. Speaking of dumb bitches. Speaking of dumb thank bitches. Thank you. Oh, my God. You bring up a dumb bitch, and I'm like, let me tell you something. <laughs> you are giving people way too much credit, I think. I think I am. Or maybe you haven't hung out with the biggest pieces of shit like I have. Debatable. <laughs> Wildly debatable. Okay. While We know a lot of the same people. <laughs> And I love every one of them, but I've met pieces of shit from across, yeah. and they're all levels right. of pieces of shit. I've met pieces of shit who are just like, you know, super haters, and I've met pieces of shit who are like literally malicious people. Yes, that's you know, what I'm I've saying. Met, I've met those people too. But then they also have those those nuggets where they're not, they pick and choose who they're, who they're going to go after and why. And some of it's like, you know, that's with true. reason, some of it's with no reason, and it is confusing. Yeah. But it's like, <clears throat> you just wanting to find out who what do you what do you think the influence would be if someone was like you know what you don't like felicia i don't like felicia you know what we should do let's take her down yeah how i mean people i mean how look, I, how are they taking you down you know uh, it's uh you know this whole thing about public credit score it's like it's like a public it's like an underground public credit score is that is that the underground right? and public are two different things? <laughs> Completely. Uh, social credit score. So, social credit score. Yeah. No, I the, do not know of social credit score. Sco it's like an idea. It's a concept where you can uh, basically like Yelp, but you rate people, oh. right? Like there was an episode of Black Mirror about. Oh, it. I did see that. Right, right. So this All is right. an underground. It's not real a, it, version. There's of no that. app. It's just there's, this is called people talking shit. Yeah, there's, that's it, all this is. Yeah, but there's no, it's, there's no, there's no. With, with this scenario we're talking about, there's no permanent it's not online for everybody to see it's underground it's like uh the underground railroad of gossip <laughs> you know what i mean it's you don't know it's and you're trying to find the harriet something <laughs> you're trying to fucking who's weasel it out yes who's leading the fucking charge <laughs> who do you think is talking like so okay underground social credit score <laughs> Yeah. So, so if there's a so that's a conspiracy. Now we're all, now it's a conspiracy, right? Because if enough people are talking shit about one person, mm -hmm. you can sway the group, the, the society, yeah. to be like, I don't like, and that's not fair, right? Because if it's I public, guess, but if it's all unfounded nonsense, then why would who's it? Who's to judge if it's nonsense? A lot of people take it into consideration. That's what I'm the saying problem. is, if someone was like, "Yo, did you hear Felicia was putting cigarettes out on baby cats?" I'd be like. <laughs> Whoa, her credit score just <laughs> She went from a 7 to 50 down to, like, I get dropped. Uh, but then I'd be like, where are you getting this information? That would be the first thing well, I would, then, where are you getting this from? Okay, yeah. And they'd be like, well, we saw her. I'm like, what did you see? And yeah. I'd be like, whoa, yeah. that's nuts. And honestly, because I have your information, uh -huh. I would text you and be you like, would? hey. I'd be like, hey, uh, no big deal or anything, and I'm not even going to judge you. Yeah. But are you putting cigarettes out on baby cats? Okay, so this makes you an ally for me. This is, And that's not the case with everybody. I'm trying to find the moles. Like, I would also be like, yeah, whatever. I wouldn't. What? I, something... That's insanity. If I was putting b cigarettes if out. If someone told me you were putting cigarettes out on, on kittens, kittens yeah. going into a Petco, going <laughs> into where you can pet them and just being like, yeah. I would be like, no, she's not. <laughs> that's crazy. But that's something an right. invisible person would do. But if enough that's people invisible. came to you with this same rumor, you'd start to maybe so believe it. So if enough people, yeah. 
if let's put it this way, if I heard it from like five or six people that like I didn't really know, and then Danny approaches me, he's like, "Yo, yeah. man, I'm telling." You. <laughs> I'd be like, "What?" Yeah. And then honestly, I wouldn't spread anything. I wouldn't spread anything. But if someone then was like, "Yo, did you hear about Felicia?" I'm like, "I'd heard some things." You wouldn't spread anything, but you called me a creep for the next two episodes, so you would spread it. But also, second of all, if enough people came to you with that information, at that would point, it become law? You would not. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> <But> it- <laughs> no, it would not become law of the land. <laughs> Ever, do you know how many people say things all the time? Yes, about everyone. But I'm yes, but I'm saying if enough people did come to you at that point, you would not reach out to me because uh-huh. you'd. Be like this might be no, true. I'm not that's, gonna bother uh, you, this bitch. You're also out of control. I would also be like, yo, have you been putting <laughs> if enough people came to me like and they were like, she's got a problem. <laughs> Cause that's a problem. So you would assume it's I true would be like, she me. needs help. Yes, you would come to me with an intervention. I'd be like, yeah, we have, that's what the organization <laughs> would happen. You walk in and be like, what are all these people doing here talking shit? We're like, sit down. And you know what? I would come to that intervention invisible first. And I know. See we'd, all start reading. we'd all start reading. We'd all start reading. We know you're in the room somewhere. <laughs> but we just want to let you know we're really worried about you. One, with your smoking <laughs> habit. And two, the fact that you're putting out cigarettes on baby cats. Like yeah. maybe you could just, we'll get you a fake cat and you yeah. can wean yourself off. And then I would show myself and you be just, like... But, I told you I was right about people talking shit about me, and then it would, and then I would be right. The whole That's time. not first off an intervention. It's, perfect, is not it's the perfect <laughs> wraparound. It's you per- are out of your mind. No, an intervention perfect. is not talking shit. You sound like no, no. The intervention is based on the rumor that's not true. So I would show up to the intervention. Everybody would be like, "We heard this about you. It's a problem." And I would be like, "Yeah, but we like you're but wrong." But also, most I would also like. Be like, I would f- follow you. If On someone, Twitter? If, or- no, no. <laughs> if someone was like, she's doing this, <laughs> I would be like, I have to personally investigate. It's yeah. like, is anybody stopping it? Yeah. And then I would be like, <laughs> I you- would... I would follow. You. Okay, listen. I love that. That's what I would do. I would do. follow you, and I'd be like, I'm, people are like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. And they're like, you're being a creep. I'm like, I'm actually trying to see if she's putting <laughs> cigarettes out on cats. It's not a creepy thing. I'm trying to like, and not even, I'm not even looking out for the welfare of cats. I'm yeah. looking out for the welfare for me- of your mental stability. Right. So this is, this makes you great in my eyes, but no, no, no. still not. Because nobody, ha- no one would ever take the time to investigate that. They would just go, I've heard it I enough think you're, times. I think you're wildly, I think you're wildly misinformed. You think most people would I think investigate? If, first off, if someone was like, a good friend of yours is putting cigarettes out <laughs> on cats. The first thing I'd be like, no. Nah. And someone's like, yo, I saw it. I'd be like, ah. Yeah. And then it's, it's kind of like hearing when someone's like, yo, man, I'm telling you, this guy is a creep sending unsolicited dick pics. I'd be like, that doesn't sound like him. Right. I would immediately give the benefit of the doubt. Right. You know, and then if someone was like, no. And then if somebody came forward like, yo, here it is. There's the evidence. I'd be like, ah. Okay, so, no. so you're saying you're not believing people and I need I need proof. I need proof. Of course I need proof. That's fair. But it's like if someone had a picture of you with a cat in a headlock <laughs> with a marble up against it, I'd be like, oh dude, no. AI. AI but now- <laughs> is out here. <laughs> If someone came to me about someone I hated and told me something See, vile that's a about them, thing. then I'm like yeah, I, I'll believe it on face value. Sure, sure. But if that is my friend, then I'm like, nah, you gotta fucking prove. You know what? Even it would it would be different if um if if I hated somebody, and they were like, yo, they're like, you know, shitting in plastic bags and then throwing them at a mosque. I'd be like, whoa, <laughs> crazy. I'd be like, that does sound like something to do. But <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, is there any? I'd be like that. Because it's like so crazy, right? That I'd be like, that just seems unlikely. Yeah. That who would who would do that? Yeah. Yeah. I think that, I just thought of it. See, that's the problem is that sometimes people do do things that sound so crazy I know. that you can't believe them. I know. And then so you have to differentiate the uh, what do you call them the, uh, the the people who are crying wolf versus the people who are telling the truth. I mean, I'm telling you, man, invisibility is what the way to go. <laughs> it's just the way to go. It's not. It's creepy. <clears throat> but you can also gain, uh, what do you call it, um, you know, information about that person to use against them, like the mafia. Like, Again. Listen, if you're, <laughs> like if you're, Again, this is like... <laughs>
<laughs> it's perfect. It's it's like, hey, this dude's talking shit about me, but this is what I saw I when I went to his I am also saying apartment. absolute power corrupts absolutely. If you think for one second, after so long of being invisible, that you wouldn't just be like, I'm going to see what this person's butt looks like. You're, I, I totally disbelieve. I'm saying if I need the information what, to, <laughs> you know, as, <laughs> to a, as a, a leverage, them? as collateral, you know. But then they'd be like, how did you know that? But I'm not just going to do it to do it for fun. I disbelieve I it. can look at butts on the internet. Yeah, Why would I, I know. But there's also butts maybe you haven't seen on the internet that are just floating around but out I don't, there. But I, I, don't, I don't care. You know what I mean? I, like, it's yeah, not a you passionate say that. thing. You say of, that until you're invisible. Until I've seen it all. Have, not, have you not seen Hollow Man? Uh, is that like in the, the Invisible Man? Yes. It's like a remake of the Invisible Man. So it's like Man? it's a different retelling. So Kevin Bacon is a scientist, and yeah, they're trying. Okay. They're trying to like find a way they can make animals invisible, but they can't bring them back to regular like visibleness. Oh. So then they're they finally do it. They finally get it done on a gorilla, and then they're like, "Oh, we got to move to human testing," but they don't tell like the government that's employing them, and they're like, they don't talk about it. And then Kevin Bacon injects himself with it and becomes invisible. They try to bring him back, it doesn't work, and he starts losing his mind with power. And <clears throat> one of the first things he does, one of the first things he does, is grab a tit. Oh, <laughs> Which is, see, it's wild. Yeah, don't well, get me wrong. It's also I, a man. That's a man uh, doing in that situation. Why would you not? I'm saying a female is not so, going to go around like mm, flicking balls. You, you know don't what I mean? Think, uh, like I, totally I mean maybe day that. ten, but day one, he's grabbing. I think tits? we. I, I mean day one. I mean, I think it was actually like 25 minutes. <laughs> I, think, I don't think you think it was day one. I think it was like he guys like yo, sick. Uh, I mean, that's just a person who's, you know, I don't know. Did he go to the White House at any point? Like, did it lead up to something good? No, there was just like, it was just like, a, it wasn't anticlimactic. It was okay. like the rest of the scientists trying to kill Oh, him gotcha. Because he did go out. He did kill a guy. Right. He did kill a guy. So Hollow know. Man is also, he, his his soul is hollow. He's immoral. So, yeah, I mean, they, I'm saying that's not my story. There's double entendre with the title, definitely. Yeah, it's not, not going to be my story. You yeah. say that because he was an all right guy. And then he became invisible and he lost his mind. Maybe that was the first time that he had the opportunity to experience evil. And he decided he chose evil. I'm not saying yeah. you can't choose evil. Right. What I'm saying is when you are given something that is out of control, yeah. you're going to be like, I wonder if I can do this, even yes. if you don't mean to do it. Yes. It's like a kid who shoots a bird with a BB gun, yeah. not trying to kill the bird, just right. seeing what like what would happen if I did it. It's a crazy yes. thing. You I, just do things. I, I understand. But if he had, how old was Hollow Man when this happened to him? Uh, you know? He was definitely in his 30s. Yeah, 30s, oh, okay. 40s. 30s, right. 40s. Well, see, that's too old, I think. I think by that point you've had the- I think that's the right age to be a Hollow Man. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Yeah, with you, you don't want to give that to. No, a young you don't want to give. You, first off, don't give that invisible to a young teenagers. Guy. No, no, no. Terrible <laughs> idea. No, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. The worst thing. If he was in his forties, though, I think your thirties is a good time to experience Hollow Man. The, the opportunity to partake in evil, right, and learn that it is a choice. And once you've gone through that, and then you're given the power of invisibility, uh, like I'm mature. I'm mature. You, you I say can that. Handle, you think you? Th I can <laughs> you handle. You think there this. are organizations talking about you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I know they are. I know they are. I know they are. <laughs> you like my mom. My mom bought Rosetta Stone uh -huh. and learned Spanish just to find out if the women at the supermarket were talking about her. <laughs> Is that true? My mom learned oh, Spanish man. just and not like all of it. She just learned enough to like, yes. she would go there. She's like, I know they're talking about me. I'm like, I don't think they are. At all, your mother's an amazing woman. No, I'm just she's say. A, That's... she's she bettered herself for racism. I mean, that she is... cultured herself. She learned a different ra language just to be like, are they talking shit? <laughs> I don't like that. It's just like that. You crazy. know what? I bet she found out that they were. No, I bet they weren't. She found out. They literally were talking about PLU numbers on vegetables, <laughs> and my mom was just like. <laughs> I, and like in a way, she was almost disappointed. She's like, "I learned all this Spanish for nothing." Consuelo wasn't talking <laughs> shit. Mm. I wonder if she got some of the Spanish incorrect. They actually are talking shit, but she's misinterpreting oh, yeah, at his vegetables. I mean, <laughs> you know, she thought puta meant pineapple. She's like, "Oh yeah, they're definitely <laughs> yeah." They're definitely talking about a big fat puta. Exactly. Spiny fruit over there. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't tell. Yeah, that was like one thing where I heard when I heard about that. I was like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, yeah. She's like, "They're definitely talking about." Oh, like, no man. one's talking. Give me about your mom's number. No seriously, one's, no one's talking about. Your mom it. and I have some work to do. Yeah, yeah. Invisible <laughs> Spanish speaking. <laughs> Your mom and I are no, about to be best friends. That's the worst idea in the world. And that's like I, you what I'm I guess is what it is. Invisibility is creepy. <laughs> just okay. be, just because you're one of the good ones right. doesn't mean that it isn't creepy. I'm one of the good ones. Yeah, that's not that doesn't mean that it isn't creepy. Yeah. You'd have to also admit that it, you know what would make you less of a creep if you walked into a room and like, hey everybody, I'm invisible. Oh, if you were just like, I just want to let you know, I'm testing out the invisibility. <laughs> we'd be like, whoa, that's fucked up. And then, and then we wouldn't even be able to like get you because you're invisible. <laughs> and they give you the power of invisibility. It's like being a sex offender. Yes, you have, you have to, to inform knock everybody. On the door. <laughs> But it's just clothes <laughs> floating. I do it on Felicia. I moved down the street. I'm required by law to tell yes. you that I will be walking around. I just also want to let you know I'll be naked because I'm invisible. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not a creep, even though I am yeah. walking around in public, invisible and naked. Right. Listening to your conversation. You better not be talking shit on me. I'll be three houses down. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna say that uh, what is creepy, though, is if somebody came to you and said, I would like the power to see through walls. That's even that's even creepier, right, than invisibility. Invisibility, you have to go into somebody's house to see what's going on. Naked, stuff. The second I though. mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. Yeah. But I'm also saying what kind of half-assed, if someone was like, hey, man, I have the power to see through walls, I'd be like, that I wouldn't even be mad. But like I'm glad you're looking doing something. <laughs> that sounds like the worst power in the world. Yeah, that, but Seeing it's creepier. Through walls? That's a true creep, is what I'm saying. Is that's not even a that's the, the, who do, who does that benefit? You know. I think that's a curse. It's, oh, like, a curse. Okay. Being only able to see through walls. Yeah. You have no choice but yeah. to be a creep. <laughs> you, want- you are given the creep card. You have to play yeah. it. If you're just sitting there, like all I can do is look through this wall. Yeah. <sighs> I wonder what my neighbor's doing. Oh, it's like you could prevent crimes if you heard like your neighbors screaming and you're like, I had to look through the wall. Yeah. And there's you saw domestic yeah. abuse and you could call 911. <laughs> but then if you're like, I heard my neighbor screaming and I looked through the wall, she's just riding a Sibian. And you're like, ah. <laughs> you can see through walls, but you still need binoculars. Ain't that a Oh, bitch? yeah. Imagine seeing through walls with your eyesight. <laughs> you <have to> put <laughs> a- yeah. Damn it. I need a telescope. That would be the worst. That's how I knew I was actually old the other day. Oh, what happened? I t- held my phone away from my face to look at no. uh, to look at a naked Oh, picture. man. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you know how, how much of a bummer that is? You'd be like, what is... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's my girlfriend's bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice, but, but it was enough, right? Like you're not at the, you're not so old that you're saying my arm's not long enough. No, ever... I think it's there's two things where I think I'm gonna like run into where I am worried is like uh, closed captioning on porn. I think it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna really fuck me over because like I'm the type of dude I need the storyline. You do? I don't need all wow. of it. I need enough. Yeah. Okay. I need enough. Like I need. R- under- right. I need to understand why those boys next door hit that baseball into the yard, and they're now they're fucking the the lady who's been sunbathing out back. S- I yeah. need to know why. Yeah. See, I'm the How'd same they way. How did get here? Yeah, I'm the same way with UFC. You know what I mean? How did they get here? What? How did they get here? Uh, the Dana White story? hired them, <laughs> gave them millions of dollars to what's, concuss another person. What's the beef here? What's There's going no on? beef. Sometimes there is no beef. I know. They want beef. All those fucking weigh-ins. That's just like yeah. there's. I I love. Weigh-ins where it's two dudes or two gals just like literally like, let's just see who can kill one another. Right. Yep. That is my favorite thing where it's just like, we're doing a job. There's no animosity. We're just athletes beating the ever-living shit out of one another for yeah. the spectacle. I love that. Where there's guys like literally talking shit. I'm like, eh, this is just two dudes kind of barking at each other. Right. And I don't even need it. Right. They're, especially okay. when it's like super inflated where it makes no sense. Even though it would be great if one of them was like, I've been invisible for the last month. <laughs> I'm following you around just <laughs> yeah. saying shit. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? That would be... Yeah, see, we're the opposite when it comes to that. Because with porn, I'm like, yeah, these are two people just fucking. You know, sure. I don't need this backstory. But it's completely so. fictitious. It's like they would never meet in so real life. UFC, I mean. Nah, I don't know. Where I mean, it comes, the fight is... When it comes down to the f- shit talking, it seems like if those guys saw each other on the street, they'd immediately start yeah, doing it. Yeah, 
Like if I was playing baseball and I hit my ball into my neighbor's yard, I guarantee if I go to get it, she's not going to be like, oh my God, your wiener's so big. What are you doing here? <laughs> but I if, guarantee she's going to be like, get the fuck out of here. You're paying for that window. Yeah, she, and then what, I'm fucked. Well, if she if you guys were porn stars, though, you know, yeah, you make eye contact and you get that like, yeah. Do you think that's how porn stars? They're like, <laughs> it's, it's how they, it's it's how they meet. Eye contact. Yeah, that's how they meet on the street. They're like, wait, they make eye wait contact. Wait a minute. It's that instant porn star connection. That's, like, wait, are I don't you think that's porn? how that works. Yeah either uh, you know how comics know other comics you walk into a, a room and you're like oh that person's a comic it's the same with yeah, porn stars probably i like, guess it oh, is they... like you i do walk into a room and i see a person hunched over a bottle of beer <laughs> looking at the floor <laughs> and right away that guy is doing a five minute spot <laughs> and last week he ran the light by three and he's not gonna get on anymore <laughs> yeah i definitely know that right there yes yeah, so that's what i'm saying as a porn star they'll go they'll see each other in the street and be like porn star, i don't porn know star <laughs> and then they just like get the closer they and then, then they're fucking you know just like the UFC fighters, like, mm, this guy looks like he wants to fight, you know? I don't think... I think There's, like, all this little, like, body language happening across the street, like, what's up, you know? Wait, are you... Wait, do you fight? <laughs> I can't fight... Wait a minute. I saw you across the street. I, hi, my name's Mike. How you no, doing? No, no. How you doing? I, I saw you across the street. I'm just like, you, you, you look like a fighter. No, no, it's not. You look like a fighter. No, are you not a fighter? It's not how it would go. I'm sorry. You I'm know sorry. this is. Like- I saw you across the street. Wait, do you do you, uh, do you puke on penises? <laughs> I saw. I swear to God. I look. I sometimes make women puke on my penis. You look like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You gave me <laughs> eye contact like I thought you were gonna puke on my penis if I looked at you long enough. You're I'm sorry. giving it way too much dialogue. With in real life, the fighters would just <laughs> be like, you know, they bulk up first physically. They start circling each other before there's even a word being spoken. I I think. I'm not saying you're totally wrong. Thank you for repeating that every time. But I, 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 <laughs> I am how, not that's wrong. That's how long I've been around women my entire <laughs> life. It is totally, that is exactly how it is. I make a good my point. My mom, though. my sister, my yeah, girlfriend. That's definitely raised by women. Oh, I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> it's not like, no, it's never, no. If I ever said no, yeah. With a finger pointed at my mom, that's the day my finger and my wrist and my hand are broken. <laughs> okay, but what, but you're saying in uh, it's people are animals, right? So I'm not animals s- sure. don't need dialogue before they fight. So sure. what are you saying happens that there's actually a conversation? I'm saying between most men? UFC fighters, I'm willing to bet. I'm just talking about the people on the street. Okay. Yeah, yeah, guys yeah. on well, that's not what we're talking about. Guys on the street okay. are not UFC fighters. Gotcha. Guys on the street are fucking dickheads who are just like, "Yo, who's fucking looking at me?" <laughs> Guys who are walking around looking for a fight, they're the first guys who, like, they do that thing where they pull up their pants first, and yeah. they're trying to get real close, and then they get knocked out. It's just like, those fucking guys suck. Who's Who is the, uh, who, like, okay, if Conor McGregor was uh-huh. on the street, right, uh-huh. and there was another dude, a UFC fighter, who, and they don't know each other. Yes. They don't know each other, and they just saw each other across the street. You're not saying they're going to ignore that? They're I'm gonna saying be they like, might be like, hey... How'd the fights go? How like I'm pretty sure it'd be like a hey, I saw your fight last week. No, no, but I'm saying they don't know. They don't know each, each other. other. They, li- they exist in a world where professional fighting is not televised. <laughs> Maybe in this any guy way. is like UFC or, or or not even UFC, but like a professional fighter in a different, in a country. different country, and he's here visiting. And, and I mean, maybe yeah, he would only do that if he was like just trying to get notoriety. I guess. I don't know. No, he's just stopping by to have a coffee, and and then he's like, oh my god. <laughs> And You're thinking that <laughs> UFC fighters are like professional wrestlers living their persona the whole time. As if Macho it, Man Randy Savage would be like, I'm picking up donuts. <laughs> and then he sees Hogan drive by, he drops him. He's like, I gotta go out there. The Minka Man will not rest until the bear claw. Okay. No, that's not, I don't <laughs> okay, think that's but, how it goes at all. Okay, all right. Let me let me try to get this out. Okay, so the, let's say there's, we're in the Serengeti, right? <laughs> we're in the Serengeti. Well, I'm talking about like lions. Lions, if a, if okay. a, if a, if a alpha male lion sees another lion who, who's not a part of his pride, he's uh-huh. going to recognize that lion sure. is a threat. So that's what I'm saying is that I, these two I, guys. Yes, you see, uh, 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 but they these these guys are also bound by contract, okay. money, yeah, women. But your point was that they have it in their blood. The I'm not saying they don't, but I'm also saying that they also know that they can't do that. That's like oh. lions 
are lions because right. they don't have money. They don't have any constructs. I guess you're right. I'm not like, really. you know, the law. Yeah. You I'm know not, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing by the rules of the world. Yeah, you're just created. going, you're going, you know I'm what else rogue. is invisible? Your mind right I'm now. going you're rogue. going wild right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 420 is almost here and our brand new sponsor, Freeze Pipe, is here to get the party started. All the freeze pipe gear is top notch and the secret is freezable glycerin chambers that come in every piece. Just pop in the freezer for one hour and when the smoke passes through it, it's cooled down by over 300 degrees. Your throat and lungs will feel way better and you won't look stupid hacking up a lung in front of your friends. I honestly use freeze pipe every day before I get here and I have driven perfectly every time. Let the freeze pipe level up your experience. Visit freezepipe.com and check out their biggest sale of the year. See something you like that's not on sale? Use code SQUIRTALERT for 10% off your entire order. That's freezepipe.com with code SQUIRTALERT for 10% off. American-owned, affordably priced, with free domestic shipping. Order today and have a 420 to remember. Freeze pipe. Freeze pipe. Dude, can I... Now back to the show. Oh, freeze pipe. Now back to the show. We have phone calls to listen to. Oh, hell yeah. You've been you've had your whole cans on the whole time, yep. which is I can appreciate that. So I I just I noticed that like you don't get a lot of good questions, so I was just I was trying to like give you a good question for you know the pod and all that. Um, I was just I like wanted to know if like you were still down for like I mean, you didn't show up last weekend, so like I was just wondering if you were still down. But um, yeah, next time if you're around, like, and we could do the same thing. Also, I wanted to ask you about, like, here's a real question for the the cast. I stopped calling it a pod. I call it a cast. Um, what's your favorite Greek mythological character? Mine is Odysseus, but I also have to give a shout out to. Persephone, what's up? Uh, here we are, Delco gang. <laughs> uh, yo, but baby, like seriously, just like call and all. And uh, but yeah, no favorite uh, Greek mythological character. Uh, go Minotaur, baby. <laughs> I didn't know you knew the cast of Birdcage. That's amazing. I... Uh, that has to be Gay Ryan, right? That has to be Gay. No, do you know what that is? That's somebody. Gay Ryan should be invisible and be stalking. That's not Gay Ryan. You don't think that's Gay Ryan? No, Gay Ryan is. If you play a message from Gay Ryan, his voice is yeah. That guy was like trying. I think he sed- sedated. No way. Gay Ryan doesn't do drugs. <laughs> not in my life. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't want to believe that at all. Uh, what is your favorite mythological? I don't really. I mean, what did he say? Minot- Minot- he said Minotaur. I don't even. Which is sick. Is that the thing with the horn? Is horns? Yeah, right? in the maze. I don't know too many. I mean, I have to go with the uh, the centaur. Is that Greek mythological or the Pegasus? Just because those are the only two I know. Is Pegasus Pegasus? Well, I think centaurs are. I don't know. I don't know. What's the difference between <laughs> a minotaur and a centaur? A, um, and a centaur? Yeah. A minotaur and a centaur? A centaur? I mean, I don't know what a minotaur is. Minotaur is a, it's a guy basically with a bull's head. Okay, so a centaur is a a a, a horse with the torso. Oh yeah, it's the the horse of a man. Horse horse legs and then the yeah. torso of a man. Yeah. That I and hear And horse body as well. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. But but he definitely You know what the, and the craziest thing is I've seen so many things where like women are like, "Ooh, centaurs are so hot!" Like you'd be destroyed. Uh, yeah. You can't have like you'd have to like pick and choose. It's kind of like guys. <laughs> it's guys who would like if you could have sex with a mermaid, would you pick fish top or woman bottom or woman top and fish bottom? My mind is blown right now. Uh, a, a mermaid. If you're t- fish bottom, I mean, because if you what? had a woman bottom, that means it's got a it's got a sliz and you can bang. What's a mermaid top? It's the same as a woman though. No, like right? if it so fish top. Yeah. Oh, I like see. It'd be a gotcha. fish on the top, a oh, woman on the bottom. Fuck. <laughs> Mermaids are oh, woman on man. top, fish on the bottom. Gotcha. Wow. What would you pick? Oh, I'd no. have to. I would take fish on the bottom. Yeah. 
Yeah. I can't. That's I the can't. Way to go. I mean, as much as you'd be like, yo, this is, I can get in on this. I, you know, I would need, I'd need some making out. I couldn't make out. With, I would feel yeah. weird as hell. Absolutely. Even, but then again, <clears throat> I will say, does the fish speak English? <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Yeah. But like if I was, if any animal started talking all sexy. Yeah. I would probably be like, whoa, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying if I was out in the wild and like a deer was like, hey. Right. <laughs> yeah. What got... do you think the hottest animal is? The hottest animal? Oh, oh my God. That's a great question. <sighs> um. I don't know. I've seen some border collies that are like. Mm, wow. Pretty We're crazy. I think that's or... what the professor from Penn was banging. What? Or uh, from Penn State. Remember that professor? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that was really? border, border collies are hot. You can't even. Wow. It's kind of like across the board. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's kind of across the board, dude. I mean, they are the smartest breed, so the, the person's standards were high. As far I as can't that. believe you're going domestic. I, I thought I you mean, would you, pick something well, see, more uh, exotic. But you know what? It's, you know why I I, I went domestic is because one, I'm immediately like I gotta choose availability. <laughs> <laughs> I got I gotta choose. I'm choosing situation situations I've been in. I'm also choosing possibly no English. You know, if American border collies run around, I'm willing to bet there's like a ninety percent chance. That dog knows commands, you know? <laughs> I'm just like, yo, that sounds hot. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, if we're going exotic, if we're going exotic, if we're going exotic, it's definitely got to be mammal. I've never seen, <laughs> you never know? Never saw an amphibian. I've never seen an like... amphibian where I'm like, yo. <laughs> I've never seen a frog where I'm like, mm, mm. <laughs> they have, they can't even do that. That's the whole thing. They can't even do that in Disney. What about a marsupial? See, a marsupials are, you know, it's because it's, you know, all right. A koala is pretty, uh, like they a have, hot. They that's have a mammal. Chlamydia. They have chlamydia. Right? All right. Oh, the only other time I've ever seen uh, Disney do animals sexy, mm -hmm. I think it was uh, the rescue. Don't laugh. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They anthropomorphize me. all these animals. No, no. Like, What's a, Nala and the Lion King? Nala and the Lion King, top tier fucking baddie. Top tier hot. But I think in the movie The Rescuers, mm -hmm. there's a part where they're talking to a bird who's definitely got, like, <laughs> dude, stacked bird. I'm telling you, type in Disney titty bird and i'm telling you it'll come up and when you see you be like yo and like you'd fuck that bird <laughs> i wouldn't i would never normally go for avian yeah i wouldn't want to fuck a cloaca i mean i was yeah i was i think i was taking this question way too literally you'd, um because yeah. i was like picturing okay so um you pick a hot animal i mean i was gonna say a horse but like that's not you really, die i what how would you Women actually do have I'm sex with horses. I'm not saying women don't have okay. sex with horses. Yeah. I'm saying you wouldn't take... A you, oh, oh, what I'm you're saying, saying is if you got real enthusiastic and you love that horse, you die. Gotcha. That's what I I'm saying. I see what you're saying. You, can't, um, you, can, only, you can only love that horse half. It's th very yeah. true. There's th no way. Yeah. I th Did you find Titty Bird? Oh. God damn it. Titty I'm Bird telling, from I'll the rescuers. I'm, I'm just saying like... So you 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 would take a horse, but you wouldn't I mean, like take a, a horse. like a gorilla is the closest you also thing die. to a human, but but it's but it's not hot, you know. Yeah, have you ever seen a horse with no, uh, not horse? Have you ever seen a gorilla with no fur? Yeah, that seems terrifying. They're jacked. That's a protector right there. Who could turn on you? They they would you you die immediately. You would have your arms ripped off. Like that's the whole thing too. Is like, do you want the danger? Is that, is that what you're all about? Because you picked horse and gorilla, two of the most powerful Horses animals. Were you were you staying away from like lions because you thought, in theory, you're like so here's it would the thing. rip my face this off. This is this is the thing too. Is like part of me would be like because you're like one a lioness. They don't they they they're pack animals. Yeah. You know, do I have the energy to gang bang a pride? I don't know if I do. Because <laughs> I know if I'm fucking one, I'm gonna have a fuck Manny. And I, that's honestly, if I, that's how I want to die. Yeah. 
Not fucking lions. I just want to be discovered in a pride of lions <laughs> naked. And they'd have to put all the pieces together like, what? Yeah. And then I would have, like, you know, blue chew around me. I wasn't necessarily <laughs> talking about bang. I said hottest. <laughs> oh well, see now, see that's a that's a loaded question, dude. Because if you were asking hottest. me, what's the hottest animal? Immediately, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, I'm gonna fuck that animal." Right? That's, yeah. That's what are you talking about? I'm I, going giraffe. Why? You think giraffes are hot? Yeah, they got those eyelashes that oh, do something wow. for me. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the creepiest thing. I don't think I've ever looked at an animal's eyelashes and been like, oh, bat them for me. Did you Did you ever feed a giraffe? No, but that All tongue, right, feed it, that feed tongue is wild. Yeah, feed tongue a giraffe wild. and then get and, back but to me. Also, have you ever seen a fucking lion lick their whole face? <laughs> Just straight up and out? That's wild. Also, horse lips. Oh no, the teeth are. To, I, I'm gonna go with dolphin because they rape, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I want to be raped. I'm just saying they. So they're into it, you know. Though they would have sex with the human, but but you said no, not necessarily sex. But we're going down that road. You they are smooth. They're smooth. Yeah, but they're, they're also. Fun. Have you ever touched a dolphin? I have. Yeah, they're not. They're they're not that smooth. They're like, aren't they like bumpy? Um, it little, depends. Like, aren't they like wet? Not like wet rubber, like a little, weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's it, I've never r touched a bumpy dolphin, uh, but they've been like they've <laughs> like a dolphin with herpes or something. Like I, I've it's smooth. Like it is bumpy smooth. dolphin. Yeah, it's <laughs> the bumpy dolphin sounds like a terrible club yeah. that no one wants to go to. <laughs> Where'd you find all those hot animals at the bumpy dolphin? <laughs> I'm not allowed to go in there anymore. <laughs> So you'd fuck a dolphin? Or yeah. no, you no, you think dolphins are just Haven't hot. you seen those tourist videos where they like Yes, I have. It that seems yeah. like no no good. What? I, that seems, seems very good to me. <laughs> <laughs> seems very I, good to me. I don't think And then after you're done they can take you, you know, across the river or something or the ocean or something. They'll just they drown can, you. You can go for a ride. I don't think that's how like don't get me wrong. Yeah. There was that one there was a one scientist who had that dolphin house. Yeah, he, he was jerking off. She the, was jerking off dolphins. I did read the book. And that's that. again. Now, say you don't have you don't get to have sex with dolphins. All you do is get to give hand jobs. <laughs> Would you go down? Say say you fall madly in love with a dolphin. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, "Look, I my dolphin wiener isn't going anywhere near whatever you got down there. Yeah. I love you." Yeah. But it's I'm just only hand I'm going to need some hand stuff. You'd give only a hand job to a dolphin? <laughs> um, I don't even know what a dolphin dick looks like, but yeah, it's safe. It's like, but it's it, it's easier to say yes to that than a blowjob, right? Because you're like, I don't know what it looks like. So yeah. But then, wh when am I going to get satisfied? So what's that's the point? See, that's you know? the whole thing. He does have a bottle nose. The, yeah, but my vagina's not that big. I so mean, you think you can take a dolphin penis? Opposed to a bottlenose? I'm assuming their noses are bigger, larger than their I dicks. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> That's not... Do, do a... What the hell is that? Do a... Uh, a uh, dolphin with a... It just says a dolphin with a heart on. That's not a bottlenose, though. Though, Do a bottlenose. Because... I don't know. All oh, it's these, up there on the left. All I these see. dolphin penises look pretty fucking harsh. Yeah. It's... They're like... And they don't look cool. Like I don't know, no, I don't know what cool. a I don't know what a good looking animal dick looks like, but that ain't great. I mean, it's not, it's not. Uh, but okay, it's, yeah, a pointy. Ugh, yeah, that's no, you're not, not gonna, good. you're not gonna be able to. That's get past no good. That. You're um, not gonna be able to get past that. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even entertain that. I mean, it's just gonna be dry humping. I think is what it's gonna have to be, or wet humping since it's in the water, but. It's, uh, yeah, I guess maybe they could masturbate. Maybe they could finger me with their nose. I mean, I don't know. It's just, I didn't know I was going to be talking about this early in the day. Like, the, like this is, I wasn't ready. I'm always ready, but, like, I, I you got to get me warmed up. <laughs> you know what would have helped you? If you were invisible <laughs> and you came in while Dana, like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to ask a hard-hitting question at Felicia. She's not even going to see it coming. It's early in the morning for her, even though it's actually in the afternoon. She doesn't even know. It's going to be fucking left field. We got we got one more call. Okay. Good God. What a turn. Hey, 
I uh, was wondering why the fucking train's all fucked up. You have, you, you got, I, I know it's fucking you, dude. The fucking, they put these fucking things on the fucking wheel bearings. You know what I mean? I know it's fucking you, dude. You need to stop doing it. And hey, why did you fuck up my early morning commute? You said, son of a bitch. I swear to God, I'm going to put you through a fucking table, you fucking gorgeous bastard. You, if that mustache is the same one that I wanted, daddy, I'm just going to fucking take it. One of these days. Ha ha. You have been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I didn't realize. I, a lot has happened since I've been here. This is. Dave, you're a hit in the gay community, what brother. What is happening? You have been duped. I'm going to go back to work. Uh, Yeah. Great call. How'd you feel about that message? It's just the same person, right? It sounded yeah. exactly yeah. like the same person. Yeah. I think so. I think this is just somebody trying to bamboozle me. This is an April Fool's a little this bit This guy late. is unemployed, I think. He's looking for a job. You need to hire him. This is These are his audition tapes, you know. This Did you ever fuck up a train for anyone? <laughs> Did I, th- have I? Yeah. No. I think the only time I've ever fucked up on a train is what I did. I did. <laughs> I got wasted, weirdly enough. And uh, I was walking to the train with two six packs and I had opened a bottle of beer and I went through like the turnstile. No one stopped me. And then the train was showing up and I was drinking the beer and inadvertently put it in upside down in the, in oh. the caddy. And I got on the train with it, leaving it not paying attention. And it like, and I saw, I was like, fuck. And I was trying to get it out of there. It had leaked through the entire caddy and I had it on the chair, getting beer everywhere, then drinking out of the other one. And then when I got up at my stop, I picked it up, started walking. They all fell out and broke <laughs> everywhere. And everyone on the train was like, dude, you fucking moron. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm, look, I didn't want to do this to anybody. I'm really bad. I, I do apologize. That's the only time I've ever really fucked up on a train. I've never puked on a train. I've yeah. never pissed on a train. That's I've never shit on a train. Yeah, I don't think I've ever bled on a train either. Wow, what about shadow boxing? I see a lot of that. Oh my there. god, that is that is the new gym. It is. <laughs> and the train, the subway <laughs> is the new free gym. People yep. getting on there and just kind of doing their own thing. You can't stop them. It's pretty yeah. fucking great. You yeah. ever seen anybody doing like actual? I have. Like push ups, pull ups. No, I've seen shadow boxing. <laughs> it's terrifying because you're like that. Yeah, person. but those are the guys too. You remember how you were talking about when you were talking about dudes walking around trying to be like, I'm fucking ready to fight. Those are those guys. Yeah. And you just avoid those guys. Yeah, it's exactly. If you exactly. saw that, you wouldn't go near that. No, You'd be like, oh, no, no, no. God, this is the worst Mm-mm. type of fucking person I'd ever be in contact with. Right, exactly. But have you ever seen somebody like really trying to like start a freestyle rap battle? <laughs> No, I've never seen that. That's pretty great. Oh, my God. I would love to see Just that. Just some guy, like, kind of rapping out loud, but no headphones in, <laughs> waiting for anybody to be like, we're throwing... Those are the guys where you're like, that's where I want to throw down. Yeah. And you're watching, because, like, you don't have any... I have no bars. I have no bars to spit. And I'm just waiting for this guy. And he's kind of looking around like... Anybody hear me? <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll go again. Oh and then God. he just goes, and then finally somebody gets on who's clearly out of their mind. Yeah. And then you oh, overhear yeah. the beginning of a rap battle as you're getting <laughs> off, and it's almost like it's almost like a curtain coming together. You're like, and there, I just missed what could be the greatest performance I've ever witnessed in my life. It almost makes you want to stay on the train. Yeah. And that's not what you want to do. Did you take the train here? No, I drove. I'm in New York, you so. Lucky bitch. And I'm on my way to Arlington, so. Yeah. That's right. Yep, yep. Arlington Cemetery. Arlington Cemetery. What is that? What is the capacity there? The capacity? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's filled How up. Many, is it a bringer show? It's, it's sold out. Nah, you can't. Damn it. Where's <laughs> yeah. the stage? <laughs> How much time are you doing? At the Eternal Arlington? Flame, I think. Hello, <laughs> Arlington! <laughs> You ever wonder what it'd be like to be invisible? <laughs> you guys know. You guys know what, you I'm, guys talking know what I'm talking about. This guy. Ghosts. <laughs> Staff Sergeant John Tucker. You know what I'm talking about. Thank you for your service. Also, where were you? But you were saying before the pod that you have problems with the American flag. I do. And I, I still would love <laughs> I still would love to hear about I that. I do have problems with the American. You know what it is? This is my problem. And this may I, I don't think anybody's really thought about it. The reason I have a problem with it is because red, white, and blue is used in so many European countries. 
I don't agree with it. Okay. I understand the derivative of the Stars and Bars. I understand the derivative of the Star Spangled Banner. In a way, it was almost like a slap in the face to the Union Jack. Like, hey, we're taking your colors and we're making it. Like, this is what it really represents. In a way, I, I kind of understand that, but we should have done something so much cooler than that. What I, do you think the coolest flag is? What do I think the coolest flag is? Angola's flag. Look up Angola's flag. Yeah. Angola has the coolest fucking flag. Okay. No shit. And the reason I know this is when I, and I only discovered this as of recently because I drove down uh, <laughs> the parkway where all the flags are in Philadelphia and I was just sitting and like, what is that? Angola's flag fucking rules. I, yeah, I never realized uh, what you're saying. I never thought about that. Yes. They just, uh, we ju and like France, red, white, and blue. Wow, yeah. Black and red with gear and a machete. <laughs> Tell me there's a cooler... That, that's fucking borderline Cobra. Yeah. Fucking awesome. I don't even know what Angola does. And red and black, too. Wow. They're being taken over by the Chinese. All right. Well, that's not cool. They should probably use some yeah, of them machetes or something. If you have a weapon on your flag, that's pretty sick. Oh, they start using the machetes. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Angola. <laughs> I'd wear an Angola t-shirt right now, dude. <laughs> I would. They're, they're taking back the lithium mines one uh, Chinese guy at a time. That's that's actually the slogan for Angola. One Chinese guy at a time. <laughs> but yeah, Angola rules. But I always thought the Mexican flag ruled. Mexican flag is pretty sick. Eagle with a serpent. Awesome. Mm, can you pull that up for me? I can't. You've never seen oh, Come on. I, I'm sure I have, but <clears throat> I just need a reminder. That is the most American thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I don't, can you pull the Mexican flag? Oh, yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know there was an image red, in the middle. Red, white, green or green, white, red mm -hmm. and fucking, you know, eagle with a serpent. That's sick. Yeah. We just have red, white and blue. France, red, white and blue. Uh what else? Which there's... is the same as Costa Rica, Thailand. Exactly. It's like, all red, yeah. white, and blue. And I don't yeah. really, I don't agree with it. We should have come up with some other one cooler color scheme. I think you're right. Definitely think... cooler. And like, I'll keep the bars and the stars. I'm yeah. not even against that. Yeah. I'm against the color scheme. That's where wow, I'm like, okay. come on. Interesting. We could have done something cooler. Why didn't we? Or if we had done it we done like the red with like blood drips down to make it look like way more menacing That's that would have been sick that is intense all the sure. stars would have been if you know what would have been cool if the stars were skulls of the monarchy <laughs> oh shit that would have been like just oh like fuck God. yeah dude people would see that flag and be like they practice cannibalism in america yeah dude to come here come to the original 13 <laughs> 13, unlucky for some, England. Yeah. I was uh, talking to somebody about what, what do you think you can technically, like uh, when you say what's your nationality, right? And everyone's like, oh, I'm from over there in Europe here or whatever. I oh, use yeah. my nationality. Yeah. At what point do you say you're American? Uh, what point do I, because I know I'm American. Well, that's what I mean is like, like uh, for me, my family has been here ever since the beginning, but the, not like, I mean, there's like some Native American, but who cares? So. I found out yeah. very recently. It's funny you bring that up. I found out very recently that when the first Shaners came to America, and they came in 1742 on the ship called the Francis and Elizabeth and came to Philadelphia in 1742. Yeah. And that was, and it wasn't even Shaner then, it was Schooner. Okay. It was S C H O with an umlaut N E R. So you can say I found it all like that, we've been I've been here before the yes. revolution. So that is at that point you got to go. I'm a hundred. I'm a fucking. I'm American. But a hundred, like even though. Oh, I'm not. I guess I wouldn't say I, what I'm saying is I'm like a billionth generation American. I don't know. And also all on the East Coast. Nobody ever left there. Right. It's all been Philadelphia or the surrounding state, like tri-state area. It's never been anything else. Yeah. So I'm original thirteen colonies. Yeah. I'm after the Mayflower, but fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that you could say you're, even though you're from whatever country. Germany. You're, yeah, you're you're still, you are you can. I would, you, I, if would someone. You say, I'm 100% American. Even yeah, though. I would never say, like, when people are like, I'm a German-American. I'm an American-German. 
Okay. I'm an American So you're German. still going to keep the German, because I was going to say, if you've been here no, since... No, if someone, if someone was trying to get all technical, like, what's gotcha. your heritage? Right. We'd be like, are you a German-American? But that's what I'm saying, is at what point do you drop that oh. that heritage that's... Uh, when you travel abroad. ...further back. Yeah, when I travel, yeah, I, I was in, I was in, uh, where was I? Uh, the Bahamas. And I was definitely American there. I, was okay. not, I, I wasn't dropping. I wasn't gotcha. saying anything. It's kind of like if some dickhead from Mayfair went to Ireland and tried telling them, like, I'm, I'm Irish. No. They'd be like, nah. I'm American. Nah. Yeah. You got to, you got to say you're American because if everyone's just like, well, I'm Scottish and Irish, then it's like, well, America <clears throat> doesn't. You're American sure. in your, in your values, also, but in your heritage, I think you got to say I'm American if you've been here since the sure. country has existed. But I also will say I'm American because I have no other culture than that. Right. I also like we never <clears throat> growing up, we never celebrated or even talked about any roots from a different country. Right. We never had like lineage, you know, like Italians are always like, I got this recipe from my great grandmother and blah, 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 blah. My recipes from my mom came from Betty fucking Crocker. Yeah. That's where the recipe, like when she's like, this is a family heirloom. I'm like, you got that out of a good housekeeping magazine yeah. in 1980. That is, that that's is. where that came from. There are no like, Pass down things. That's what it is. That's American for That's sure. That's American. My mom loves two things. And it's not even like her trying to be a nationalist. She loves one, the American flag. Loves the American flag. And two, the nativity. Yeah. Loves the nativity scene. Yeah. And snowmen. Tell me more. <laughs> tell me more of an American lady. <laughs> You can get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Those mom, are the three things. That's my mom, too. My mom has probably 30 snowmen that she busts All out. All the Christmas. time. Oh, you do yours is year round? Nativity year round, American flag oh, year. Shit. Yeah, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Nativity year round. There are nativities just like popping up. I'm like, what is this? Wow. And it's not even that she loves Jesus. Yeah. It's not, has really nothing to do with religion. It's got everything to do with she loves an underdog story. Yeah. She's like, what's the greatest <laughs> story? This baby who was born in pig poop came mm -hmm. out and became the king. Yes. She loves that. And then the flag, she's just like, it's just, she's guilty of it, much like I am. As much as I have beef with the American flag, I will never not, like, if I saw the American flag somewhere, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Dude, have you seen the one, the giant one that's in the Smithsonian? Or, yeah, in the Smithsonian? Probably. That was at the, I don't know what Is it that was the like. one with the V in it? Uh, it, no, it's like gigantic and it's burnt. And Is that was, the one that they wrote the Star Spangled yes, Banner about? Yeah. You've seen it? Yeah. Yeah, I, cry, I, I, I cried when <clears throat> I saw that. Did you really? Yeah, because they, they keep it in a really dark room, so you have to go in the room and you turn the corner and see and it. it. It just so punches It was you like right a reveal, face. and it was like, holy shit, it's so majestic. I felt really, uh, like, proud to be you an American. Proud? <laughs> I really did. I felt like, this is amazing. It, I love America, you know? And Look, it, I, here's, here's what I'm going to tell you. As much as you can gripe about America, and you could, we have a lot of things wrong. For but, sure. But I will say, when it comes down to certain things that are happening here and certain things we've overturned, certain things that we're looking at now, certain rights and certain things being stripped, it doesn't... America's only 247 years old. Yeah. It's not an old country in any capacity. No. But the strides that it has made in what could yeah. be a blink of an eye are pretty incredible. Also, on top of that, Fucking monster trucks, dude. <laughs> I've never been. I've never been. You and you call it, yourself an American. I know. Coming I know. to Philadelphia, May fourth. May fourth, monster okay. jam. That's that's soon, and you got to wear earplugs, right? You don't. Are you? No, you're not an American. I'm not yeah, American. That's not American. <laughs> Get out of here, Tommy. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Earplugs All right, I mean, at a fucking monster jam. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm getting in shape for that. I'm going to wear an American flag tank top and no earplugs. I'm going to raw dog my head to that monster yeah, you, jam. Um, and I guarantee you show up, no earplugs, American uh, American flag tank top. You walk out of there married. Yeah. All <laughs> yeah, right. Let's go. I guarantee you show up and you're like, looking for a guy. <laughs> yes. You would be married right then and there. Holy shit, that's better it's, than... It's pretty... It's easier than Tinder. Yeah. Better than Hinge, if you ask me. It's better. Yeah, I mean, Trucker? Trucker. What's Monster that? Monster Trucker. Oh, shit. Instead of Tinder. <laughs> Trucker. It's Trucker. Oh, my <laughs> and God. And the tagline is, I fucked her on Trucker. <laughs> it is a billion-dollar idea. See, that's the other reason I love America. I can just throw out these million-dollar ideas. <laughs> Then no, nobody's going to run with it. What do you think about an apron that says grillionaire on it? Is that a, <laughs> is that a million dollar idea? I've been thinking about trademarking that one. 
<laughs> grill you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I actually wanted to do it, but I'm worried about getting sued. Why would you get if somebody, sued? <laughs> if somebody, if this goes back to the invisible thing. <laughs> I'm worried someone's going to Ryan, these are real concerns. No, they're not. If somebody's grilling and they're using your apron and it catches on fire, it's like one of those, like, the coffee was too hot at McDonald's where they could sue me instead of, and you know. I don't think that's how that works. That's like me putting on, like, a any garment of clothing. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I was driving my car <laughs> and then someone flicked a cigarette butt out the window <laughs> and my clothes caught on fire. You know, I'm going after Hanes today. Just, That's not how that works. I mean, even if they lose the lawsuit, I still got to pay for the lawyers. It's one. I don't think that it didn't. None of nothing on your apron said like inflammable. <laughs> right, right. Like right. it's like you can't die wearing this. That's not. There, it's an apron. <laughs> right. I also think we should remove a lot of warning labels. That's what I think too. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna say that right now. 1970s comic. I'm, <laughs> I, <laughs> no more warning labels on anything. <laughs> I'm tired of, you know what it is? It's because I think we're too coddled as a country with all of our warnings and like every, and nobody yeah. follows them anyway. Right. No one cares. Right. But I do think it is crazy. One thing that I do, because it's easy to sue. We've become such a litigious country that everyone, like you just got worried about someone suing you for being negligent with a grill and having their <laughs> apron caught on fire. Right. That was a concern you had. You're like, I don't want to patent it, yeah. even though that's crazy as hell. <laughs> but like when I see warning labels on plastic bags that say, this is not a toy. Do not leave this around a baby. Yeah. <laughs> if you're stupid enough to leave right. it around a baby, yeah. you deserve to learn a horrible lesson. I agree. I really I, agree. I think it's like one of those things like if you what person's looking at a plastic bag like you know to enjoy this mm -hmm. that toddler in that crib over there. <clears throat> yeah. And like any toddler that accidentally asphyxiates himself with a plastic bag it's like an accident. Right. It's like it just blew in like no person is going to be like yeah these fucking bags yeah. should have put a warning label on there so my toddler could read it. And don't get me wrong I'm not trying to fucking you know, being sensitive to anybody who's lost a baby with a plastic bag. Dead. Yeah. What I am saying is suing the plastic bag manufacturer is such like, what, who mm -hmm. did that and why? Yeah. That's just a crazy thing to me. I think you should, there should be no warning labels. And I don't think there should be warning labels on cigarettes either. I really don't think there should be. We've come so far as a society that if you don't know that they're bad for you, Who's to blame for that? Right. That's why zoos have it made, you know, because they got, they got the kids dying from falling into the exhibits sometimes. And, sure. the, and the parents try to sue and they never win. It's like well, common all, sense. There is. There, yeah. Sure. It is common sense. Yeah. But there are things I do not lean on this. Right. Family. It's right there. Yeah. But again, if you don't know not to lean over a railing in an alligator right. pit. Right. <laughs> right. Right. I think you should be. We should be able to be like. Fuck it. If you don't there should die. be no if you don't die and you make it out of the alligator pit, you should be scalded. You get actually the you chair. should be put yeah. back in the alligator pit you, you the until chair. you do die. <laughs> right. Until you're like, you know, you should like, oh, I got out of the alligator pit and I came out unscathed. You should have your arms broken. Or one of them broken. <laughs> I said that when I got my DUIs. I got two of them. Yeah. I got two. And I remember when I was in the DUI highway driving class, which is crazy as shit, which is an organization that meets every <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> had to go. And they were going around the room and they were like, what would have deterred you from getting multiple DUIs? Because everyone in that room had more than one. And literally everyone said education. Like it was like, yeah, have I just been informed more about this? And like, there was one guy who had seven DUIs. Wow. Seven. Wow. I don't think any amount of like, hey, buddy. Right. Because after the first one, that's education. Yeah. After the first one and you're roped and you're like, I didn't learn anything. from that. What are you talking about? I was able to get two in one week because they did not revoke my license the first time. Oh. I hit two cars. My car was fine. I was taken, processed, released, and my license was still intact, and I was able to drive later that week. Wow. Now, what I'm saying is you get a DUI that isn't just being pulled over. It's a collision. Both of my DUIs were collisions, mind you. The first one, my license should have been taken right away because I crashed into shit and could have potentially harm not only myself, but other people out getting in their car that morning. Right. I could have sideswiped those cars and killed somebody. Yeah. Should not have been allowed on the road. 
but they were gambling. They're like, hey, let's see how much money we can pump from this fucking idiot wow. and see how much, how far he can go. And that's really what it comes down to. So then I should have had my license revoked that first time, yeah. but I wasn't. And the second time, I said, I should have my license revoked. And everyone was like, uh, you know, what if you got to go to work? I'm like, yeah, you're kind of fucked. You find rides. You find a way. It sucks. Take public transportation. But then I said the second time, you should have your license revoked. And then you should have your arm broken at the elbow. Oh, shit. Compound fracture. <laughs> you are medieval. No, it. Sure. That's a compliment. But what I am saying is fines and money seem to not matter at all to the man who has seven DUIs. Right, yeah. Fines and money have... Jail time doesn't seem to matter to the guy and gal who has six. They don't seem to care. You know what you always remember? Looking down at a horrific scar (laughs) at your elbow and remembering a policeman take it, break it in the most scientific way. I don't know how. Right. And that's all they do. They break it. They put you, they call an ambulance. You already know this is going to happen too. It's not like a, what's this? It's like, oh, you got two DUIs in a week. You're going to have to get out of the vehicle. Yeah. Uh, present your arm. We have an ambulance ready for you right away. You're going to get whatever medical care you need. We're going to take you to the hospital, but we are going to break your arm. Yeah. We're going to break your dominant arm. Yes. At the elbow. And then you're still going to pay a fine and your license revoked. And it's like. Yeah. And we're going to sell tickets for it, too. I mean, I think, you know. They used to do that. Not the tickets, but like they <laughs> used to they used to cut off fingers and hands if people stole. Right. So, then so that's the, Hammurabi's law. Yeah. And I totally agree with you. I'm not saying you're wrong. What I am I'm, saying, I'm piling on to what you're saying. I'm just about saying the, arm. It, the, the, the severing of limbs, yeah. I think, is a step too far. Breaking uh. an arm. You'll oh, be oh able I'm to, sorry. You're you'll be able it. to recover from it. I don't think anybody should have their hand cut off. Gotcha. Hitting with, beaten with a hammer? Definitely. Gotcha. Definitely. Like old-timey fucking, like, Vegas fucking guys who catch you cheating. Yeah. Like in Casino, where they take the guy and they fucking hit his hand with it. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Do that more. Yeah. Because you remember the hammer. Yeah. Jail time sucks. Don't get me wrong. It was lame. But looking back at how much I was fined, I would have rather done more jail time. Finding sucks. It's like just so much money, but I was also smart. I'm like, I'm never going to get a fucking DUI again. This yeah. was so much shit, but they gave me the opportunity to get one right off the bat. They gave me the opportunity to get two. Yeah. And that's crazy because they didn't take my license and it took so long to get my license even revoked. It almost took like a year and a half wow. to get my license suspended. It's It was crazy. Just break my arm at yeah. the elbow. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a painful reminder. Then that's how you do it. Yeah. You know what the American flag should be? <laughs> Red, white, and blue, but with a guy getting his arm broken <laughs> in the blue field would be so sick. We need, or actually, I've also thought we should have a, a nuclear weapon on our flag. Oh, wow. Wow, that's intimidating. We have the nukes. Yeah, yeah. We got the nukes. I think that's a great idea. What are you talking about? I think it's a great idea. Just so, Or just like the fucking, like... Logo for radioactivity? Yeah. Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> That's the best flag you could ever have. That's just my opinion. That's my American. That's the American I want to live in. And you can't tell me nothing. Yeah, I agree with you. Just put it smack in the middle where one of the stars are. Replace it. I also think we should have tits on the flag. Tits? Not, I, well, first off, besides the flag, I think we should... I, I don't know if I had talked about this before, but during 9-11... When they hit the two towers, tragedy. Mm-hmm. And then they hit the Pentagon. It, clearly it was like, oh, they're trying to disable our like military system or whatever. I was also thinking, would have been nuts if they flew it into the fucking Mount Rushmore. That would have been crazy. And if they destroyed the Statue of Liberty. I think I did talk about this. Uh, but if they destroyed the Statue of Liberty, we could have rebuilt it with bigger tits. <laughs> I'm just saying that's America. Like naked or in? No, no, no. Okay. We, should, we still give her a toe. I mean, gotcha. I mean, yeah. Sure. Let's talk about it. I'm what, just saying. Is there like spillover? Is it lift and separate? Oh, it's, it's definitely How? cleavage. Cleavage, gay. like definitely cleavage. Yeah. Tasteful, but like stacked. Yeah, side boob. It'll. Uh, <laughs> I think honestly, cleavage in the front and then yeah. beavage in the back. Oh my so god! You have just she's, a little bit of butt. Like not yeah. again. She's slightly bending over with the torch. Oh, oh, do you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
hands on the knees statue of liberty would be the fucking best in the world just mm, hands on the just oh my god this has been the end podcast with ryan chaner felicia thank you so much for being on the show make sure you call oh wait where can people catch you oh shit i'm gonna be uh by the time this comes out i'm gonna be at the uh hartford funny bone and then after that i'm going to the buffalo helium uh but check me out on all social media at a felicia world at a felicia world all social media. Fantastic. Make sure you call the hotline, 833-443-5300. We'll address any comment, qu- question, concern, or mythical beast that you think I should have sex with. Fantastic. <laughs> We're going to switch it over to the Patreon later. 